Hello, I'm Steve Weber, Executive Director of Hartard International's operation in Haiti. It's been four years since the earthquake and four years since Hartard has been working on the ground in Haiti. And we wanted to take this opportunity to give you an update of our activities. In these four years, we've made a deep commitment to come alongside of the people in Haiti, as well as the government in Haiti, to do all that we can to make an impact on the health of the country. In these four years, our physical operations have expanded to include 14 urban and countryside clinics, five field offices, and four volunteer centers. We build a new distribution center which will house our medicines and our supplies, and we've helped provide two state-of-the-art laboratories to help medical providers make the proper diagnosis for their patients. During this time, we have created dozens of federations. These are local community development organizations that are owned and operated by the local population. Thanks to corporate and individual support, we've distributed millions of dollars worth of critically needed medicines and medical supplies in communities all across Haiti. And we've also deployed nearly 1,000 volunteers in Haiti during this past four years. Individual doctors and nurses, groups of volunteer service trips, Healthcare experts who help train and mentor their Haitian counterparts, who then go on to use their skills and tools to improve health care in their own communities. These volunteers that come from all walks of life and backgrounds, they make a real difference. To make all of this happen, Hart Hart has employed hundreds of Haitians from our country director to our field operations staff, to our interpreters, our drivers, to our community development staff. And of course, our Haitian doctors and nurses and lab technicians, these people who staff our clinics and treat hundreds of patients weekly. In addition to all of this, we are involved in two very recent initiatives. First, cholera. We're working to get ahead of the continuing epidemic in the mountainous regions of Southeast Haiti. We've trained the residents to become health agents they help identify the outbreaks and also help to educate the people in prevention and treatment. We visit schools, we hold community meetings, and we distribute cholera kits, which contain the items that help to prevent the spread of cholera. The second new initiative that we're very excited about is called Kori Fami. Kori Fami is Haitian Creole for family support, and it simply means this UNICEF program is to meet the basic needs of the Haitian families. For several months, we've been working with UNICEF in the Southeast region to identify who and where the most needy people are. And we're now heading into a new phase of the project which will connect these populations to the services, such as healthcare. Heart to Heart International has accomplished a lot in the last four years in Haiti, but there's still quite a bit left to do. And we need your continuing support to help us accomplish and complete our commitment to the people of Haiti. Thank you.